Hey guys, welcome back to Storytime TV. I'm Peyton. And mm -hmm. No, I'm Peyton. And this is my friend, McKenna. <laughs> and we're going to be doing an Easter egg extravaganza today. Four Easter books we're going to be reading. So, stay tuned. The first one is Peep on Perch. There's a cute little Easter page. Do you see it, Kenna? Yeah. Everyone knows the Easter Bunny leaves surprises for girls and boys to discover on Easter, but did you know the Easter Bunny has a very special helpers? They are Easter peeps, and your Easter peep has to come spend springtime with you. Easter peeps have many important jobs with paints and dyes of all colors. They help turn plain eggs into... Yep, I can show it. You show them. Can you take a shape here? It's going to take a lot of editing. Spectacular eggs. Those are cute. That's cool. You can read the next page. That was short. Easter peeps also take empty Easter baskets. and fill them with all kinds of treats. I think I would take every single one of those baskets. Probably. <laughs> but your Easter peeps more important job is to keep an eye on you. In the days and the we and weeks leading up to Easter, your Easter peep watches to make sure you are being good and kind. Your Easter peep notices every time you speak and act politely. Treat others with kindness and help around the house. The nicer you are, the happier your Easter peep is. When your Easter peep tells the Easter Bunny how good you are, they might choose to add extra treats to your basket or hide a super special egg for you to find. I think we have too many bunnies. Yeah. That's what I think. So place your Easter peep on a perch in your home. Any flat surface, such as windowsill, windowsill, bookshelf, or table will do. Hopefully the cat doesn't eat it. <sighs> yeah. I mean, I don't think it's a real peep. It's just a stuffed animal. Yeah. We tried to find it, but we couldn't find the peep. It's probably in my basement with all my other stuffed animals. Yeah, probably. Where in my room? Move your Easter peep from room to room each day to show off all the different ways you can be good. Sit properly for meals in the dining room. Feed the dog in the kitchen. Read to your baby brother in the living room. I can't read to my baby brother in the living room. <laughs> Unless I did it to Banks. Yeah. And then on Easter morning, the fun comes. How many hidden eggs can you find? 
Well, what goodies are what goodies are in your basket? Thank you, Easter Pete and the Easter Bunny, for all your treats. They'll be back again next year to celebrate how good you are. You want to switch spots after this? After this book, yeah. Yes. Each book will switch. Okay. Remember to always be sweet, like Peep, and have a very happy. Be Easter. I should say have a very hoppy Easter. Excuse me. <laughs> that was the end of this book. I really like this book. Do you kind of? I loved it. And next book, every single book, we're gonna switch places. Cue the switching. The Easter Bunny's assistant. Second book of the day, or of the video. <laughs> Hello, I am the Easter Bunny, and this is my assistant, Skunk. So, she's going to read the Easter Bunny, and I'll read the Skunk. Hey, does that mean you think I'm smelly? Maybe. <laughs> okay. Hello, I am the Easter Bunny, and this is my assistant, Skunk. Today we will show you how to make beautiful Easter eggs. Step one, hard boil the eggs. I'm so excited. Uh, skunk, what does that smell? Oh, sorry. It happens when I get excited. I think he farted. Like you always do. <laughs> Are you trying to braid my hair? Ow. Ow. <laughs> sorry. That's Easter cheer. Please try to control yourself. Yeah, Peyton, control yourself. I'm sorry. <laughs> Step two, make dye for the eggs. Oh, look at the beautiful color. It's so... Exciting! Oh no, I think he's gonna fart again. Skunk! Sorry. <laughs> Step three, decorate the eggs with crayons. Oh, I love decorating eggs. It's so... <laughs> Exciting! <laughs> Peyton! <laughs> Ew! So... It's so... Pleasant. Make your face like that. Like the bunny's face. Exciting! <laughs> Please Can don't fart again. No. Does it smell? No, actually, fart. Smells fine. like beautiful chocolate. You just farted. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you are right now. After I fart. <laughs> Step four: Remove skunk from room. Push if necessary. Hey. Five, dye the eggs. 
knock knock. And that is something that was not as necessary. Is that sheepy? He likes to jam out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> he likes to sit. Now you have beautiful Easter eggs. Knock, knock, knock. I love the Easter eggs. I don't know where Skunk went, but... Hey, rude. <laughs> yeah, she's back there. Smelly one. Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Wait, let's do a thumbnail. I'll go like this. And then you go. Go, like. Okay. Okay. You sure? Oh, wait. Hey, on. Here are the Easter Bunny's directions for making beautiful eggs. And then they just have the directions on make, how to make hard-boiled eggs. Like, there's five steps. Why are you poking me? I'm not. <laughs> the end. I hope you guys enjoyed that book. I did. I like that book. Especially. Um, no, no. My farts added to it. No. Baby. Yes, they did. They did. No, they didn't. They all know they did. The next book is The Littlest Buddy in Minnesota. And on the back it says, can you find the Easter eggs hidden throughout this book? Can you guys find them? Let's see if we can. Oh, I do you <laughs> I don't think these Easter eggs count, but I don't know. Probably not. Sadly. The Littlest Bunny in Minnesota. Not long ago, inland, you might know, li there lived a girl named May and a boy named Joe. They had moved to Minnesota and long to explore, make new friends, have adventures, and many things more. Hmm. I thought you did something. <laughs> Minnesota Pet Store. Oh, wait. <laughs> Minnesota Pet Store. Welcome. Open. On the day before Easter, they rode into town. They went to the pet store and looked all around. There in the front was a pet full of bunnies. The small ones were cute and the big ones were funny. They played with the bunnies and thought for a bit and then they agreed on the most perfect fit. The littlest buddy with the sweetest small hop. He's ours, may announce. Let's call him Flop. <laughs> You guys used to have buddies, didn't you? Yeah, her names are Kiki and Patchy. That's cute. So Flop joined the family. That sunny summer, that sunny spring day, the littlest bunny was now home to stay. They played with the bunny until it was late, and then settled Flop into his cold, cozy, snug crate. May give Flop a kiss, and Joe patted his head. Then the two children both climbed into bed. A soft evening breeze blew through, blew in through the windows, and May and Joe smiled as they slept on their pillows. Don't they sleep on a bed? I think so. Then why not say they're sleeping on pillows? I'm kidding. I get it. 
I already did it for 17 minutes. That's fine. Right. But Flop had no time how to close his how to close his own eyes. No. But Flop had no time now to close his own eyes. He was preparing an Easter surprise. He was quite little, that much was true. But tonight our dear Flop had a big job to do. For he had a secret he hadn't let show. He was the Easter Bunny, and he had to go. A magical wind gave his whiskers a tickle, his nose how it twitched, his ears how they wiggled. Soon Flop was quite different than before, than ever before, and he couldn't wait, not for one minute more. He raced through the house and out into the night to where he had hidden his eggs out of sight. His, marmal, his marvelous burrow had held Easter eggs plenty, to be exact, nine million and twenty. He packed up the eggs, he looked at the map, he fastened his goggles and his red flying cap. I would like to see a bunny fly a hot air balloon with eggs and a red flag cap and goggles. Same. So stuffy. <laughs> then Flop hopped right into his hot air balloon, and soon he was soaring as high as the moon. Sorry, I was so <laughs> stuffy. As he... Uh, Watched his first stop grew here nearer and nearer. His North Star State mission became even clearer. <laughs> oh my gosh. First flop balanced eggs on a tall building top. Then he went to the park, spreading eggs as he hopped. Then he dashed off for an Easter home run, then quietly hid chocolate eggs one by one. Is this like a rhyming book? Probably. With his big bounces here and a giant jump there, Flop hid Minnesota's eggs everywhere. West, east. He flew to the east, to the south, west, and north. He he crisscrossed the state. He raced back and forth. Oh. Duluth, St. Paul, and Egan got treats. Then St. Cloud and Rochester were two cups. <laughs> Rochester. Rochester. <laughs> Minneapolis, Blaine, the long list went on. Flop was delivering his eggs till dawn. <laughs> what was it called? Rochester? Yep. Rochester. Finally, Flop found his very last stop. He came to your house with a bounce and a hop, and there he delivered his Easter surprises, so many eggs of all shapes and sizes, and when he was done, he stopped for a rest. Yes, surely this Easter was one of his best. Might have been his best because maybe he got adopted. <laughs> the morning sun rose on that bright Easter day. It was time to wake up for Joe and for May. But when they went over to find their friend Flop, his door was wide open. His crate was unlocked. There were there were eggs to discover and all as all children know. But we just want Flop cried May and cried Joe. They looked under their beds and looked all around, but the littlest bunny could, just could not be found. Where's Flop? I know where Flop is. 
Oh, wait. It's kind of like upside down. It's like over there. But whose goggles are they, were these? Who unfolded this map? Then from round the corner came a faint tap, tap, tap. I'm oh, sorry, faint tap, tap, tap. They rushed and they stumbled. It had to be him. And they and there they found baskets. And something was and something else was tucked in. Probably the Easter bunny. It's flop. They cried out and held him so close. Joe tickled his ears and May kissed his pink nose. Fluff hugged him back, his new friend so dear. Happy Easter, Minnesota. See you next year. Did you guys find all 20 eggs that were hidden through Minnesota? If you didn't, you can go back and check. But, or we could just show you the answer page. We're just going to show you for like five seconds. Ready? Because it's really tiny. Three. Show. Two. One. One. One two. two three, three. Four. four five. five. Okay. If you guys caught that, you can look at that. But if you want to do it yourself, just go back mm -hmm. and check. There were 20 Easter eggs. I like this book. Did you? Yeah. It's a cute story. Mm -hmm. How to catch one last book. <laughs> How to catch the Easter Bunny. I've only read this book once. Oh, okay. How to catch the Easter Bunny. How to catch the Easter Bunny. <laughs> How to catch the Easter Bunny. I'm gonna catch him. Or 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 catch him. I've been working long and hard with all my peeps and crew. We've made the eggs, and now I'm here to bring them all to you. To you. To you. You guys. You guys up there. Show them the page. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> oh, my gosh. My real name's a secret. My friends call me E.B. My special job means I just hide my true identity. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes, I'm the Easter Bunny, and I'm coming to your home. If you have Easter spirit, then you just might see me roam. I think that's what EB stands for. Easter Bunny? Yeah. yeah. This first trap is quite simple. Just carrots on a plate. I'm lightning fast to catch me. You'll need some better bait. <laughs> that sounded like a bunny. I think I am the Easter Bunny. What about that? Give me chocolate. M T Y. A hole that's covered by a rug will never cause me to strife. But have you forgotten what I am? Burrowing's my life. But <laughs> your foot is cold. Now this must be more, now this is much more like it, a fully lit dance floor. <laughs> I'll do a little hip hop and then dash behind the door.
Get it? Hip hop. Haha, <laughs> so funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. This next trap is quite clever. My my brilliant engineers, but it's hard to catch a bunny who has supersonic ears. That's kind of creepy. That is kind of creepy. Ah! I thought you were going to bite me again. You want to catch me for my eggs and magic basket, too. But I've been hiding Easter treats since 1682. How old is he? He's like 800 years old. Literally. He's like 100, no, 480 something. This trap nearly gets me, but check out all my hops. Watch me dodge this flying fish and cherry yogurt pops. Fish? Oh my gosh. <laughs> you thought you could beat me? I know it's hiding. <laughs> I heard it. I threw it like this. It was like... <laughs> I switch my size from two feet tall to something small and gray. <laughs> Your Easter spirit is so strong, you see me right away. Is this your last book? Oh, it is. I'm liking the book. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. You're so mean to me. <laughs> <laughs> I leave so Keep so many Easter treats. No children will be sad, but when they see if I've, ex I've escaped, oh, they'll be hop. They'll they'll all be hopping mad. Let me just reread that. I leave so many Easter treats. No children will be sad, but when they see I've escaped, they'll all be hopping mad. The bunny tumbler 2.0 sure takes me for a spin, but I've got lucky rabbit feet. <laughs> I don't think that's safe. <laughs> I know I'll always win. Kenna, I'm giving you bunny ears. <laughs> <laughs> Look. No, wait. Look at the camera. <laughs> Beautiful. He's just gonna sit here. Okay. With all the treats delivered to children big and small, I've to children big and small. I've got one special stop to make to my favorite kid of all. Not going to your house. It's me. Okay. No, it's probably one of them. Yeah. Or all of them. See you next year. I'll see you next year, my precious. <laughs> I hope you guys have liked the Easter egg extravaganza. Four books we read, and I think they were all really good. Which one was your favorite, Peyton? Yeah. No, which one was <laughs> your favorite? Um... This one, How to Catch an Easter Bunny, The Littlest Bunny in Minnesota, The Easter Bunny's Assistant, and Or Peep on a Perch. I either like Easter Bunny's Assistant or How to Catch an Easter Bunny. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I think my favorite was Peep on a Perch or The Easter Bunny's Assistant. Yeah. Which one was your guys' favorite? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed our books. I'll see you next. We'll see you next time on Storytime TV. Happy Easter! I hope you like this story. Be sure to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for visiting Storytime TV.